guys you're welcome back to my channel hope you guys are feeling good my name is Bukumi Bike Crown so guys I'm gonna be checking out this video titled Allah is the God of Jesus by Ahmed Dutt let's watch we have to come back to the basics the basic is this mighty messenger of God we in Islam we believe that he was a mighty messenger of God he was the Messiah he was born miraculously he gave life to the dead by God's permission and he healed those born blind and the lepers by God's permission. We have no qualms about accepting all that. The only real difference between us is that we Muslims, we say that he is not God Almighty in human form. As a man, as a messenger, we must love him, respect him, revere him, follow him. But don't worship him. Because he at no time did he say, worship me. No time he claimed divinity. Mm. On the contrary, we will be able to confirm that when he was in dire straits, when he's supposed to be having on the cross, when he's supposed to have him on the cross, he cried out with a loud voice, I'm quoting, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. My God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? He is God himself. If he is God himself, who is he crying to? How can you cry to yourself that you forsook yourself? If, how can you forsake yourself? If you want to get out, you can get out. Mm. Why has thou forsaken me? And he's crying to Allah. Mm. He's crying to Allah. See the word, Allah, Allah, Lama Sabahtani, translated, My God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? That word there is Allah, Allah. In Hebrew it is Allah, Allah, Lama Sabahtani. In Arabic, Allah, Allah, Lama Taraktani. Mm. This is the name of God which He worshipped. Allah. You ask the Jehovah's Witnesses, you have a lot of them, I understand, in the Scandinavian countries. A lot more than anybody. They are full of life and vigor. The Jehovah's Witnesses. And they come to tell everybody they are Christians. They say they are Christians. And they say the rest of Christians in them are pagans, mushriks. They say, we are not saying that. They say that the name of God is Jehovah. I'm sure you must have heard that. Mm. Ask the fellow, next time you come across such people, I'm also informing you, sir. Ask the fellow, where did you get this word Jehovah from? He says, it's in the Bible. So what does the Bible say? In the Hebrew Bible, in the original manuscript, is the word Jehovah. And the guy will tell you. No. He will tell you. No. Then what is there? He will tell you, he said, there is a tetragrammaton. In English, he will tell you, there is a tetragrammaton. So what is a tetragrammaton? You know, I have come across doctors and lawyers, professors, in the Illinois University in America, and I'm asking them, anybody here who knows what is a tetragrammaton? And believe me, there was one, not one lecturer, American, who knew what it was. I said, funny, every Tom, Dick and Harry among the Jehovah's Witnesses, they know the word tetragrammaton. And you don't know? No, it's a special word. They have concocted, invented. Tetragrammaton. What is tetragrammaton? Tetra means four, and grammaton means letters. Four letter word. Then why don't you call a four letter word a four letter word? Why do you have to tantalize people with a 14 letter word to tell us tetragrammaton when you say four letter word? So, what are those four letters? It says Y H W H. In Hebrew, Yot Ha Vav Ha. I said, these are consonants. Y, S, W, H, you can't produce a sound. Without vowels, you can't produce a sound. Add the vowels. Anyhow, as you like. Whatever they do, they can never get a J. Where did you get the J from? Jehovah. Where did you get the J from? J is another consonant. Add the vowels. It becomes Yahuwah. What is Yahuwah? Ya in Arabic and Hebrew means O. Ya. Hua in Arabic means he, and who in Hebrew means he, Yahuwah means O, oh, he, who, Elohim. El in Hebrew means God, Elah in Hebrew means God, and alternative spelling, Allah, is here in the Bible. This one here is by Schofield, J.J. Schofield, Reverend Schofield, D.D., Doctor of Divinity, backed by nine other D.D.'s, not D.D.'s. DDs. <laughs> they tell us here, first book of the Bible, Genesis, 
first chapter first verse it says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and the word God has got a number given you look down down in the commentary and I tell you it's L L A oh. and also alternatively A L A H Ella hmm. we are only telling the Christians look spell it as you like but my language I want you to try to pronounce as you ought to pronounce A L A H is Allah not Allah say say Allah all of you say Allah Allah say not Allah but you can write A L A H but don't say Allah say Allah so Allah so she says L Allah Jesus is crying Allah Allah Lama Tarak Oh my Allah, oh my Allah, why have you forsaken me? This is the name of God and this is the God that Jesus worshipped. He's telling his people, come, I will teach you how to pray. He said, pray like this. Oh, our Father, which art in heaven, yours and mine, including Judas. Judas was in the group, the traitor. He is the father of everybody, the sinner and the saint means he's the Lord, cherisher, sustainer, evolver of everybody. Oh, our Father, which art in heaven, not the Father of Jesus Christ in heaven, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Where does he claim, exclusive claim to God Almighty that he is his Father? If he called him my Father, his. Before he said that the first time, look at the Gospel of St. Matthews. As soon as you start chapter 1 verse 1, you start reading there and you find the expression Your father, thy father, your father, thy father, 13 times before one time he says my father. Hmm. Can you imagine? 13 times he said God Almighty is your father. 13 times he says your father, thy, thy means singular, your means more than one, addressing more people. Your, thy father, your father, thy father, your father, 13 times before one time he said my father. But Amazing, people only see the one time and they won't see the 13. So come brothers, come let us reason together and inshallah we'll find a way of understanding each other's points of views. You don't have to be converted, you don't have to convert us, we won't convert you, we can't convert. Nobody can really convert. This is in the hands of God. But at least we can understand each other's points of views so we become more tolerant. Wow, there was one video I actually reacted to. And our meditator was like, when Jesus said, God, 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 why have thou forsaken me? It was like, God forsake them. But why is it that then in that video, why didn't he admit that the God he was talking about was Allah? But now he's not saying the God Jesus was referring to is Allah. Um, I forgot what's the title of that video again. I've forgotten, but I think I'm going to drop the link of the video in this video. I'm going to drop the link so you guys can listen to it. Um... Oh my goodness, Allah is the God of Jesus. Is Almighty God also the God of Jesus? Well, I understand Amedida's point of view. The part of the Bible that I read, I think he said it has the Hebrew language or so, and they wrote A hell. A H Hala. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. That means in the beginning, Hala created the heaven and earth. It's all fine, like Hala is also God. But Christians believe that Almighty God is the God of Jesus, Yahweh, Yeshua, Elohim. So He is the God of Jesus. Well, it's amazing the way Amedida was able to bring out the Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in Hebrew language. I've not come across that version before. Wow. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like, share, and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Stay blessed. Bye.